And we have Blast Off. Yes, we do, guys. Thanks. It's Will here. Thanks for joining me. Another time talking about some flat earth issues. Today, I'd like to talk about two things, guys. Two things. And this is definitions. Shrills and sock accounts, right? Now, I just thought I would let y'all know a little bit about what these are because they're the two most commonly used words in comments between flat earth and globe earth theorists. Or should I say some theorists and some people who say that they know the truth and know exactly what it is. And other people are saying, hey, this is what we think. So let me start talking about sock accounts. People will say, oh, you're just a sock account. That's basically saying, like, you're a proxy account, you're a fake account. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, yes, I'm sure that's a problem. But I doubt that everybody who views differently than you is a fake account. That's kind of an absurd view on it. Okay, well, I have my beliefs here, but... Anybody who believes opposite of me must be fake and have fake accounts and posting on this fake stuff. Yeah, sock puppet means like you got a bunch of these old puppets and they're fake people and you jump around from account to account on the same video to make the same comments and make it seem like it's multiple people saying the same thing. That doesn't mean that one person who goes and makes a comment on your video, you can call it a sock account. No. The way you determine a sock account is you keep seeing these same couple or same combination of four, five, or six accounts jump onto your video and all regurgitate the same kind of thing. The same saying something without saying nothing at all. Or blah, 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 blah. The facts are proven. It's been proven. Those kind of comments. The comments without any conversation. The comments without any real points. The comments without any real critiques. Those are the comments of sock puppets. The kind of comments that automatically call people in contention. Sock puppets or shrills are the types of comments that come from sock puppets. Hmm. Yes. So when you see a video and one of the first comments is a critique of the video and the second comment is calling that person a sock puppet or sock account, just so, just so, just showing the person who's waging those accusations doesn't know what that means at all. And it proves their level of critique or what evidence that they need to make accusations or think that they know something. Okay, the second thing is called a shrill. So shrills are usually associated with the government and kind of a disinformation agent. Um, you know, it's usually on the side of the government. So if we have like a vast government conspiracy where people are talking about, oh, NASA this, NASA lies this, NASA lies that, so I don't trust the government here. And you have people calling them shrills. Okay, no, those are truth seekers. Sure, there could be some disinformation in the truth seeker movement. But the majority of the truth seekers are going to be truth seekers. Now, let's look at the other side. The majority of the people who are defending the government, I don't think you could call them truth seekers. I would definitely say that a good person, sorry, a good portion of the people that defend the government with fervor might be shrills, might be disinformation. If you look, the way they don't give valid evidence. They just say, it's been proven in the past. It's a hoax. You get off, get off the channel. You know, 
it's the same responses all of the time, no matter what evidence you put forward. And you can look, please, please look at um, some of the videos that I've commented on that are full of shrill-like behavior. And I've made some insightful posts and some well-thought-out logical deductions, in, in my opinion. And about 90% of it, 90% of everything, there hasn't been any logical refutations to me. Now I have to exclude my own flat earth debunked the proper way because there was some logical debate and conversation in there. I was actually quite surprised. But go look at Queen Bees or the DeJeezies and see if they refute evidence. It doesn't happen. Now that's just my opinion. You're free to do your own research. Go ahead and look for yourself and see who's acting like what and who's saying what and who seems like they're open to the things and who seems to just have that stance no matter what. To me, it's when a science borders a religion and people are talking about their beliefs and not what science can show. So thanks for the time. I just wanted to talk and, you know, if you're the type of people that sit there and use the word shrill and sock account or sock puppets, I would really hope that you evaluate your usage of this because it makes you seem invalid. And another thing is, just because somebody posts something about a comment of their own or their own opinion, don't go to their YouTube and say, oh, look, you've got zero subscribers. Like that devalidates their opinion. That's the stupidest argument ever. Just means they don't put out videos it might mean that they're much more open to other people's opinions than their own. Maybe since they have zero subscribers, they don't have an agenda. They're not trying to make videos based on what their viewers might like. So, you should see the accusations that people make in defense of globe earth and the attacks that people make have nothing based on people's opinions or the people's support of the evidence or facts it's based on these arbitrary things that people want to call other people that people want to wage at others in an attempt to devalidate them I'm sorry, if your globe earth theory was so surrounded by facts, you wouldn't have to resort to insults to devalidate them, to devalidate other people. It's kind of like the one who throws the stone. I've seen a lot of people insulting and throwing stones. It seems as if you're very defensive. Scientist doesn't get defensive. Scientist is just looking for the truth. You should be defensive at your own actions at not evaluating both sides openly in a search for the truth. Bias is obvious in your actions. Just evaluate yourself. And, you know, this was the conclusion I made about two months ago. I found that I really wasn't evaluating it openly. Where were my beliefs coming from? It's coming from other people that I know 
told me this. Teachers told me this. School told me this. The government told me this. But was there anything that I had experienced in my life? Had my eyes told me this? Had my body told me this? Had my mind told me this? None of my real world critiques told me that I could trust what I had been told. So it's shocking. I, I hate that I had to question this. I hate that when I talk to my friends and family that they think I'm a kook. But for the better of science, I had to question it. I knew what I would sound like. I knew what this meant. But for science, you have to do it. If you're firm in your beliefs, you can go check out the books on what to believe. I'm firm in knowing that things aren't exactly what we're told and knowing that science is always changing and adapting when we're revising our knowledge of the universe. But why would we would never resolve or revise the knowledge of our Earth? It's because of bias. Or is it because of disinformation? Because they want us to believe this. I don't know. I don't know the full lie. I don't know the truth behind the lie. All I know is it's not what we're told. Search your own truths.